Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, me and Alex decided to tweet you guys and ask you guys what your guys' favorite Starbucks Starbucks drinks were. So we picked, so Alex tweeted it, I tweeted it, I picked five drinks, Alex picked five drinks. So we went to Starbucks and at first I was trying to order the drinks through the app because I don't want to be like that person ordering a bunch of drinks through a drive through but it's so difficult because it's first time the first time I use um, the app and to order it through the app it asks, it asks you like what toppings do you want, what um, toppings? What topping? <laughs> isn't that what is you that call a it? Pizza? <laughs> like what toppings you want, what kind of blend you want, I don't know, all these things that I was like, I don't know, because I don't even know what you guys, what your guys' drinks were. So it was really, really, really complicated. I was able to order like two drinks and then I got like completely lost. So I thought it was better for us to order um, through drive through And even when we were ordering, I was like, I don't want to drive because like, I don't want to be like that person. So I was driving and I felt like they were going to, you know, probably give us um, attitude and stuff because honestly, I would probably be pretty annoyed if somebody orders that many drinks through drive through But no, huge shout out since it is a positive shout out. Huge shout out to the Starbucks on, where did we go to? Joe Battle and Edgemere. Joe Battle and Edgemere, the Starbucks right there next to McDonald's. And they were seriously so freaking nice since I got to the drive through Obviously, she didn't know who I was at all. Like, you know, she wasn't just being nice because she knew us or anything since i got through the drive through i told her like it's gonna be um 10 drinks is that fine and she was so freaking nice so freaking patient throughout the whole drinks even though it was pretty easy um to order them because she knew what obviously what the drinks were and stuff and even at the window she was so freaking nice so i even asked for her name because i wanted to give her a shout out in this video she was just so freaking nice great customer service and honestly like i told you guys i would probably be annoyed myself her name was Haley. so if you guys do go to that starbucks thank Haley for being a really really nice person um, and then we kind of fell back because we obviously had cars behind us. So we had a whole line back though behind us. Yeah, so we paid for the five cars that had ordered uh, behind us. So if you were one of those five cars that ordered, we are so sorry. Hopefully us paying for your order <laughs> made it up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, anyways, these are the drinks that we ordered. We're obviously going to tell you guys the names. Some of these obviously do have caffeine and I am going to sip from them. Uh, but I'm not going to drink any full coffee. Normally when we go to Starbucks, um, I order a pink drink. So obviously we do not order a pink drink now since we wanted to order new drinks. Um, I feel like most people have tasted a pink drink if you go to Starbucks. And Alex orders normally a... I usually get iced coffee most of the time. I don't really do like nothing crazy like this. These I feel are pretty easy to order. But normally I actually have the name. Um, normally Alex orders a vanilla sweet cream cold vanilla brew. Vanilla sweet cream cold brew or like a vanilla latte, stuff like that. Mostly vanilla, any, anything like vanilla flavored. And then so a lot of you guys were telling me about the dragon fruit, but I have already had a dragon fruit. I'm, not, I'm honestly not a fan of dragon fruits. Um, but yeah, you guys, a lot of you guys requested dragon fruit. Like I said, it's not part of this. And then also the strawberry acai, strawberry, acai. <laughs> oh, I guess acai. The acai. strawberry acai lemonade. That one I've had it too, and it's super bomb. So all of those four That's we've had favorite. before, yeah. and we do recommend, but they are just not part of this. Like I said, for we wanted to order new drinks. So I really, really hope one of these drinks turns out to taste bomb AF. There's like three that I'm looking at that they look super good. I hope they're super good. Just because I have been wanting to, I have been wanting um, to change it up a little bit and be on that Starbucks game or whatever. But the drinks that we yeah, have. Yeah, but by the time we start, yeah, tanto, those are all melted. Already. No, they're not. They're actually this still pretty good. No, they're good. They're going to taste watered down. No, they're not. They're still good. Guys, we literally ordered these like... We got home and the first thing we did is record now. So all of these, you can tell that they're still good. The first drink we have is a double chocolate chip frap. This one, Maribel rec recommended it to us. This one actually I think I tried this looks one before, actually. bomb. You have? Yeah. Double like chocolate good. chip frap. That sounds like it's really, really, really chocolate. Can I try it? Yeah. You go first. Wait, why are we? Why am I getting a different straw? Like if I'm not pregnant. That one's good. I recommend it. I mean, I've tried that one before. One to ten. What, what, you, what do you rate it? We're gonna rate them one to ten. I think eight or above is like go order it. Eight or below, it's That's like there's an eight. Yeah, it's just like it's really chocolatey though, and I'm not really like a big fan of like super chocolatey, but it's like if somebody mm. if somebody with like a, a major sweet tooth, definitely. It's, it's this is flavor. really good. I'm not like a huge chocolate fan. Like oh my god, I'm gonna die without chocolate, but I do like chocolate and it is super chocolatey. This is bomb. I rate it a. I give it an eight. I give it a nine, but if you're a huge chocolate lover, nine point five. So I give it a nine. This is That's a must right. order. This is too much chocolate for me. It wasn't though. complicated at all. Yeah, it is really, really chocolatey, but honestly, does this have caffeine? Because I kind of wanna I kinda wanna drink it all. This one was so freaking good. Okay, the next one we have is iced caramel macchiato with coconut milk. What the wait, hold on. I'll I'll read it. Okay. Iced caramel macchiato coconut milk with one pump of dolt. Cinnamon with cinnamon powder. That sounds complicated. You see, like you go to you go to Starbucks and you 
talking about. I think right now it sounds no, but I think right now it sounds complicated to us because we don't regularly order that, so we're like talking to one mm. of book, you know. But I feel like if you normally order this drink, you're probably like, hi, can I get a caramel macchiato with coconut milk and one pump of this and one pump of that? It's simpler for you to order. This one's good. <sighs> Let me taste it. What do you It's a little cinnamony, but it's pretty good. I like cinnamon, so. Tastes like pan dulce. No, no, no. My vote is the most important, so are you guys ready? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, what do you rate it? I give it a seven. Mm. It's different. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we all have different tastes, you know? A lot of you guys also recommended to us uh, green tea drinks, but we completely canceled those out. I've tasted like a good two or three of those that just look so good. We are not fans of tea 0% and they were all really, really, really disgusting to us. So we just completely eliminated those because we just knew we wouldn't like them. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people like green tea, you know, so that's why I'm saying people are different. But obviously this is just nah, to our liking. Green tea. You said a 7 on this? Yeah, like a 7. Mm. It's pretty good. It's a good iced coffee. This is good. This is good like to drink it in the morning, not probably like throughout the day, but... It's pretty good. If I work like at an office or something like that. Yeah, you could taste the cinnamon a lot. It's good. I rated a... Uh, an 8. And Lily recommended this one to us. <sighs> the next one is, <laughs> I feel like we're now yeah. to go to the restroom um, halfway through it. The next one is uh, ice, no, this is the same one. You swipe it to the right. That way? The next one is a vanilla bean frap yeah. with a banana. And, and caramel drizzle. And caramel drizzle. Lexi recommended this one to us. Shout out Lexi. Okay, let me do this one first. That one looks watered down as hell, girl. No, it doesn't. Babe, babe why do you keep saying that? Look at the that? puma, it's gone. <laughs> no, that one, that's what it's supposed to look no, like. No, it's not supposed to look like that. This is me in a drink. It looks like I don't know if you can see it. No, it, it was... Looks like dog it's like dog food. It's because it has puma, and obviously the, the puma um, soaks into the drink. Babe, you're not a scientific like me. I'm going to put it. Okay, okay. Wait, I'll, I'll go first. This one yeah. looks like somebody drank it a little bit, huh? This one looks kind of nasty or whatever. The name sounds really good, but it doesn't look that good. But I don't know. I have to taste it. No? One to ten? You'll like it. It tastes like a banana smoothie. Why do you like say Like a liquado. Like oh, I love liquado. So, fun fact, I didn't have my first Starbucks drink till, till I was like... started dating me. <laughs> literally. <laughs> just kidding. No. Till I was like 18, I was like, oh my god, I'm a grown-up. Like, I have to have a Starbucks drink. My mom, I don't know. Starbucks was just never in my family. It was always like liquados, literally. Um, but anyways, my first Starbucks drink, it's because at first I thought Starbucks was like just strictly coffee and I'm not a coffee drinker, coffee lover at all. But no, Starbucks actually has a lot of good sweet drinks. Um, my first drink was honestly till I was like 19 maybe, like my first Starbucks drink. You just drink. said 18, you Okay. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm a liar. Just kidding. Okay, I'm out. It's not Okay, okay. Why? Please, please, okay. Tienes planes, okay. Oh my god, this tastes like a liquado. So it's a vanilla bean frap with a banana and caramel caramel drizzle. I feel like you can't really taste the vanilla bean. It tastes more like banana, honestly. It literally tastes like only liquado de platano, which is bought my ear. Oh, I ordered a dodo. I ordered a mango drizzle. <laughs> I feel like I'm drunk, what the fuck? Yeah, literally, that's how you're talking. <laughs> I'm as fuck, just kidding. I ordered a mango dragon fruit my first time because a lot of you guys will like post pictures and you see them like on facebook and on pinterest and they just look so cute i tasted it and honestly it kind of tasted like ass i didn't really like the taste of it but this one is a little bit different so this one um kareem karim karim recommended it to us she said it is a mango dragon fruit with coconut milk four pumps of vanilla and four pumps of raspberry and add extra berries what does it taste like i wonder if it tastes like the mango dragon fruit without yeah. all the extra stuff I mean, it just tastes like fruit. Have you tasted the mango dragon fruit? No. Oh, so how do you know? It's pretty good. How do you know it tastes the same? I said it tastes like fruit. Okay. Like, it's just like a fruity drink. It tastes pretty good. Oh my god, y'all must be another with like all these freaking motherfucking bottles. Honestly, it kind of tastes like Pepto Bismol. I don't know, I just like it's too fruity. Sabe Pepto Bismol. Tastes like medicine. Yeah, like medicine. It has like a medicine taste to it. Um, but then again, the mango, even just the mango dragon fruit, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I give it a 6.5. So this one, for our preference, I don't recommend I it. I personally wouldn't get it. No, I don't think I would order it. Out of it all again. these drinks, I, the only one I probably would get is the, so far, the double chocolate chip wrap. So far, honestly, all the previous three, except this one, it, it's just not that I could probably sip it, like, if I'm getting paid, like, a dollar or something to do it, to do it, but other than that, I wouldn't. Do it for the, the own pleasure of my stomach. Okay, this next one. This one is the one, one of the two that I'm the most excited for. This one looks super good. It looks a little bit different on her picture. Just like always, I feel like all Starbucks prepare drinks differently all the time and stuff. 
So maybe whoever made it for her made it a little different than they made it for me. Um, but yeah, it just looks different, but it looks really good. So this one is, do you want to taste it first? This one is a strawberry acai. Did I say that right? Yeah. A strawberry acai with three scoops of extra strawberries, three scoops of mixed berries with whipped cream blended all together. It's just like a strawberry acai on steroids. Like it tastes like a lot of strawberry acai? Yeah. And it's just blended. It's more like a smoothie. It tastes like a smoothie kind of. It's okay. <laughs> what do you rate it? Mm, six. Hey, when I'm not pregnant, we should like taste beers. Like from. Yeah, that world. would be fun, huh? We should. Guys, like your guys' favorite drop down beers? In the comments below if you guys want to see us. Y'all already know. A beer tasting. A beer tasting next year when I'm not. <laughs> in like January. <laughs> It's whatever. Honestly, like none of these drinks, I would personally like. I wouldn't go and order them. Like, yo, like I'm craving one of these. So far, we still have four left though. Um, but then also he's more of a coffee drinker. Like I like coffee, like iced coffee. Yeah, like, these two are like cold brew. Are, and stuff yeah, more like coffee. That. Like these are just sweet, you know. Like this is like more for sweet tooth kind of stuff. Yeah, it's just really like boring, honestly. <laughs> like when it comes to drinks, you rather just like like vanilla coffee. You know what I mean? And me, I think I'm really more girly. Like I want pumps of this and like strawberries and like yeah. bananas. And things like that, and you're more simple. This one's actually really good. It is really, really sweet. Um, right now, as you guys can tell, it's already like melted this much. It's supposed to all look like this. So I feel like if you order it, it's like a smoothie. Yeah, actually, it tastes good. Yeah, like this refreshing. is something that I would reorder. I rate this. Uh, I think I rated it a nine. It's actually really good. The only fruit flavor drink that I like from Starbucks is like the basic one, the strawberry acai with the lemonade instead of water. Yeah, but it's like true. That that shit's like thirst quenching so it's like good to me so i'll get it like when it's hot and i'm out running errands i'll do that but like i won't drink iced coffee during the day like that's kind of weird to me like but i don't the like morning, the aftertaste but in the morning like early like after the gym or something like i do go and get like some iced coffee and that shit hits the spot see yeah <laughs> what the heck was that <laughs> this one was shout out to shout out to carolina pretty bomb girl we got two of the double chocolate chip wrap yeah two of those it's right here so we're not gonna try this one guys we already Obviously it's the very first drink it. we, we grabbed, yeah. And at the end, when we were counting the drinks, we were we were we were short a couple of drinks. Um, and she was like, "Wait, which one are you missing?" And I was like, "Oh, fudge! Like, I didn't want to like you know waste more time to go back on the list." So we just let it go. So yeah, we got two of those. Yeah. So we are down to three. This is number one, the one I'm most excited for. I have really really. So you high said you were most excited about. The no, one. I said this one is one out of the two. So oh. these are the two. Okay. Um, say sorry. Sorry. <laughs> just kidding. So this next one, should we save the best for last? No, let's just do it now. It looks, I don't know, it just looks really good. It looks like a liquid. They, they just all don't really look good to me right now because they're all melted. Really? Yeah, like they just don't look good. To me, it looks good. Watch, let me zoom it into you guys. It is already melting a little bit. Um, But when I saw it since right now, right now it is melting a little bit. But it has, it looks to me like a licuado de platano con, con fresas. Yeah, and whipped cream. So, okay, this one was shout out to Tita. It is a strawberry. Frap with frap chips and add a banana. Dun dun dun. Please, Mr. Green, please. It literally tastes like 90% like this one, the licuado de platano. I think all of the drinks that you add a banana, they all end up tasting like licuado de platano, no? It's really good. It tastes like a licuado de platano. It tastes the same. <laughs> you know what? I want to reorder this drink a strawberry frap with frap chips and add a banana with extra strawberries because I feel like it's missing the strawberry taste. Tastes straight but it tastes like a liquid of banana. Yeah, it's good. But just to be like bougie, I would order it just because it sounds cute. Like strawberry frap with frap chips and add a banana. <laughs> don't they think it's the same? Like it literally tastes the same. I rated a uh, eight. It's pretty good. I just don't honestly taste the difference between these two. It tastes like banana. Starbucks is playing us. Plot twist, they all are, have the same ingredients. They're probably just like, there's too many drinks. Just make them all the same. Huh? <laughs> I know for real. You think so? No, because they look, honestly, they, they look... They all look different. Yeah, they look way different, but they taste kind of the same. We're down to the last two. I feel like you're really going to like this one, but I don't know. This one, uh, Vanessa recommended it to us. This one is a white chocolate mocha frap with java chips and caramel this drizzle. One good. Yeah, that one looks really good. Okay, you go first. <sighs> Guys, so when you at first, I was like, let's do like 20 drinks, but I'm getting so empanzonada and we're just like sipping from them. Probably because we ate right before this, so we're like full AF. What? Mmm, it's good. What do you rate it? It's like, I don't know. It's good. It, you could taste like the mocha. You're not gonna like it because it tastes kind of like coffee. And then you, obviously you can taste like the chocolate chips. But it's alright. Like I said guys, personally I wouldn't order it. 
Mm. I actually like it. Like, there's times I rate that it like an eight. I told you guys I'm not a coffee. Seven, 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 seven. A seven yeah, or an eight? A seven. We need to know. A seven. Um, I told you guys I'm not a coffee lover, but there's mornings where, well, I mean, not now because I'm pregnant and I don't drink coffee. Um, but there's mornings that I'm like, get un cafe just to like kind of like boost up my energy or wake up a little bit. So that's when I'll drink coffee. Um, and I feel like I, this one is one that I would order because I don't like straight coffee. Like, I like coffee with like vanilla or So yeah. this one's actually really it's good. good. Um, so this one is something that I would have you order it. After yeah, baby G is here. I just don't want to sound like I feel like I said like I wouldn't order a bunch of these Like I don't want to sound like negative you guys, but it's just like Either you drink like coffee quank, quank, quank. <laughs> It's either you like just straight coffee like iced coffee or you like stuff like this, you know, it's like Not everyone's you know, you mm -hmm. know, you get what I'm saying like you either like coffee or you like fraps like this This is actually this really is good. good like the more that I'm drinking it and I'm getting it like from the top the, the part That's not melting it. It's like um, yellito what do you call it? Like a wrap? Crushed ice, yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> but it's like a smoothie kind of thing. It's really good. This one I do recommend. I would order it. This one I rated uh, especially if you like coffee, a nine point five. Like it's, I think it's really good. Wow, nine point five. I said six. Ooh, you said six. Yeah. yeah. Well, nah, I feel like my results. No, but that's my good because aren't like, we're, we're okay. Both so it's like Leslie's the frappe test tester, and I'm like the coffee tester. You know. But this is coffee. No, no, like straight, like iced coffee. Oh. You get me? Yeah, he's more like of a coffee with like one sugar, one milk, or yeah, two yeah, sugars, yeah. two milks. Me, all of that, I'm like, uh, like all of this, this is my shit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So yeah, if you do like coffee, especially like sweet drinks coffee, like me, white chocolate mocha frap with java chips and caramel drizzle. See, that doesn't sound complicated if you say it smoothly. This if last you, if one you say it is... like you sound like you know what you're saying. So this last one is the caramel ribbon crunch frap. This one uh, was recommended by one of my cousins, Mira, so shout out to you. It looks like it's really good. It, it looks, looks good sweet. though. You see like, okay, in a frap, check it out. So like this one, it looks pretty simple, you know, it's like one solid color, like with the whipped cream. And that you looks can good see, to you. Like it looks, it looks good to me, but when I look at something like this, like double chocolatey que quien sabe que chingados. Like, see, that one yeah, doesn't look like, good just, to me. That's just too much for me, and it's just like, I, I don't like that kind of sweetness. Like I could do one of these, you know, like maybe I'll crave it one side of the week and I'll drink something like this, but you guys, I just want you guys to understand me, you see? So this one's got like too much Yeah, on, so basically, long story short, there's two kinds of people. There's Alex kind of people and then there's <laughs> me kind of people. Exactly what he just told you but guys, like, that's like, so true. If you really think about it, we're not even like pro coffee drinkers. No, like, we're not, we're dumbass. Like, we don't honestly. really know anything about coffee, but. Yeah, I don't know shit either. Um, but that's true what he says. Like he, he, he leans more towards things like this, you know what yeah, I mean? There you go. And I lean way more toward things, toward things like that look like there's a lot of ingredients, like yeah. really sweet, really girly. Like I'm into that. And Alex is more basic, just like really basic drinks. All drinks just depend on who we you are. As a person and how you were raised. Just kidding. Okay, so you want to taste it or? How you were raised. <laughs> okay, I'll taste it. it. Okay, so shout out Mireya, yeah? Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino. Good. Taste it. That one's good. I rated a, honestly, all of these were good. The only one that I was like not good at all was this one, right? The one this that tasted like medicine? Yeah. Other than that, all of these, like, I would reorder. I think they were good. This one I rated a seven I just like because it's really sweet. I'm not a huge. I like caramel. I, I can eat caramel, but, but I like it. It's just like one flavor. You get me? Yeah. Like it's just a caramel flavor. Mm -hmm. And like over there, it's like you kind of tasted the mocha, but then you tasted like the cinnamon, but then you also taste like the chocolate chips. It's just like too much for me. Too much for your mouth. Yeah, like I, I don't. Yeah, it. like I don't like that that kind of stuff. You know? I like this it. It makes good. me it's spicy. Good, guys. This is what, what was this one? Caramel ribbon, caramel crunch ribbon crunch crunch jazz is pretty Yeah, it's good. good. It's, it's really good. sweet though, I think. So these are all the drinks that we ended up drinking. I think there's a good three that I would go back and order out of these. You like two. I like two, but like I was telling Leslie and like I was telling you guys, in reality, like these are all good drinks, but the idea is like for you to go back and actually reorder it. You because know, you like, loved it that much. Because you loved yeah. it. And like I was telling Leslie, like dang, like I, I kind of like gave a bad review on most of these. But it's not because I didn't like them or like they tasted like shit. They taste really good, honestly, all of them. Like they have really good flavor. But like I was saying, not everybody has a sweet tooth. Like, you know, some yeah. people just like straight iced coffee and that's it. So in conclusion, Alex picked his favorite out of all of these. I picked my favorite. My favorite is the strawberry frap with frap chips and add a banana, AKA a licuado de platano <laughs> with strawberries in a way. It looks like this. It's already pretty melted, but honestly, this is bomb. This is something that I will reorder. And for Alex, it was the... The caramel ribbon crunch, right? So we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, then click on the little bell right next to it so you can notified every single time that I post. Thank you guys for watching. We love you guys, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.